Hi friends. Today we're going to learn about sea turtles. Isn't this a beautiful drawing? Look at how detailed and intricate it is. This turtle look, looks like it's floating out in space. There are seven different kinds of sea turtles in the world. There are green sea turtles, olive ridley turtles, Kemp's ridley, hawksbill, flatback, loggerhead, and leatherback. Some of them are huge and some of them are a little bit smaller. See what I mean by huge? Did you even know that turtles that big existed? This leatherback turtle is giving birth. These are volunteers by the Caribbean Sea protecting her and her eggs. Sea turtles are endangered. Did you know that sea turtles crawl up onto the beach to lay their eggs? And wherever they're born, they go back to that same beach to lay their eggs as well. They do it for generation after generation. This painting was created by Jen Callahan. She's from the United States. What colors do you see? Giant rainbow in here, huh? This painting was created by Doris Jinjingere Gariwe. She is Aboriginal. What kind of lines do you see? Can you find vertical lines, zigzag lines, diagonal lines? What's in there? This painting was created by Jim Oshkanigish. He is Inuit. What shapes do you see? Maybe you see circles, diamond shapes, spirals. And how many birds are there? Can you count them up? This painting was created by a Los Angeles-based artist named Wyland. He paints giant outdoor ocean murals all over the world. His paintings help to raise awareness and money to protect our oceans. Do you notice how in this painting, part of the painting is down in under the ocean and the other part is up above at the beach? How did this artist do that? Sea turtles are amazing animals. Let's use lines and shapes to draw one. I'll see you at the drawing board. To make our turtle, we're gonna need a black sheet of construction paper, and I have a large one. I also have my oil pastels, a pencil. If you wanna do scraffito, you're going to need a paper clip that's been opened up and a piece of scratch paper for tapping off. Now I'm going to take and move everything to the side. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to draw my turtle shell shape. Now you can go ahead and design your own any way that you want, but just know that what you do, you want to have it be to have it to be a little bit big. Okay. So I'm going to show you the way that I like to do it, but you can do anything. All right. Now I want to show you another trick as well. When you go to draw on paper, sometimes as you go to draw, you'll draw it and then you don't like it. And then you erase, and then you try again, and then you erase, and then you end up getting a hole in your paper and sometimes you get very, very sad. So I wanna show you the magic eraser trick. So with the magic eraser trick, what you can do, so I'm gonna be drawing my turtle and I'm gonna do a sea turtle. So sea turtles are bigger at one side and they kind of triangle down a little bit at the end. So I'm gonna start with kind of like if I was making a big letter C, but instead of using my pencil end, I am going to use my eraser end. And you see how you can totally see that mark. But now what's cool about this is if I don't like it, 
I can just brush it away, okay? And it'll show up a little bit, but it won't matter when I go to take my oil pastels in. So I can take first, I'm gonna make a big C shape. Now, sea turtles, I, I know that I'm gonna to wanna to make my shell about this big, so I'm gonna make a little bit of a mark there, okay? And then I can take and round out and come to that mark on both sides. So, just so you can see that well, so I started with a C shape, and I'm gonna use a white pencil. You can just use your regular pencil. So once you like your shape, you're going to trace over it. Oh, and then I made a little dot, and then I connected them. And so now I have a sea turtle shape shell. You can make yours a different shape if you would like, though. Now in the middle of this, I want to make a rectangle. So I'm going to start with my eraser again, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle or a square. It could be either. Once you have one that you like with your eraser, you can trace over it with your pencil. Now I'm going to go ahead and at each end, I'm going to angle in, angle in, angle in, and angle in. Okay, and once you get it how you like it, you trace over it with your pencil. And then the last step, you're gonna take and just connect these. So now I have the center of the shell of my turtle. And now in this next step, I'm gonna start to take and just go to each of the points. So I find one of the points and I'm gonna draw a line out. So I go to each corner, draw a line. I'm gonna do it here as well and I'm gonna angle them out. And you see how it instantly gave me a turtle shell. Isn't that cool? So now I'm ready to go ahead and draw my turtle head. So I'm gonna take my magic eraser, I'm gonna come up to the top, and you can make your head shape whatever you want. An easier way, an easy way to do it is just to come and make a curve. And I'm. I think that might be a little bit bigger than I want, so I'm going to erase it. See, this works for me too. Mm, I'm happy with that one. Once I get a head that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and trace it with my pencil. And if a little bit is showing up from your eraser, don't worry, because the oil pastels will take care of it. So we have our head of our turtle. Now I'm gonna put the tail of my turtle on, and it's kind of just a triangle shape. So I make a triangle at the end. When I'm finished, I'm going to trace over it. And now I'm ready for some turtle legs. So I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna to come to where my head is, I'm gonna drop back just a little bit, and I'm gonna do a curved line up, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna take and curve out a little bit curve out a little bit. Now I want to come back and I want to drop back a little ways from this and make a mark. I'm going to do that on both sides so I know where I'm going. Now I'm going to take and angle a line in. And if I'm happy with my turtle legs, I can go ahead and trace them. I think I want that one a little bit fatter. I like those turtle legs. I'm going to trace them with my pencil. Sea turtles have kind of big front legs. They need them for swimming. They're big flappers, flippers. Okay, and I'm gonna brush off all of my eraser marks. Now I'm ready to put on my back legs. So I'm gonna come down a little ways and I'm gonna do a backward curve. And I'm gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. Now the back legs on sea turtles aren't quite as big, so I'm not gonna make those quite as long. And then I'm gonna drop down a little bit and make a curve out. I come over a little, I drop down a little bit, and I make a curve out. And I get two legs that I like. If I don't like it, like I think this one's a little skinny. I'm gonna fatten that one up a little bit. There we go. Then once I have what I like, I'm gonna take my pencil I'm going to trace over it. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to trace over it. 
Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use all of the different oil pastel techniques to fill my turtle in. So I might use some light pressure, I might use heavy pressure, scumbling, color mixing, scruffito, stippling, white with one color, black with one color. You can really choose. You're gonna take and just start to color everything in. So I'm gonna give you just a little bit of a demo so you can start to see, but I want you to choose to do what you want in it. So maybe I'm gonna do stippling in a section. So I could go in and stipple. And I, you know, I really like using more than one color, but you can do whatever you want, okay? So see how I filled in that section. Now I can keep using stippling in lots of places or maybe I wanna go into doing something different in another section, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and fill in your turtle. And I'm gonna uh, cut out of the video here for a moment to give you a second to do that. And then I'm gonna show you the stage that we do once our whole turtle is colored in. So you're just gonna do the turtle. You're not gonna do your background yet, just your turtle. Okay, have fun. All right, so now I've gone ahead and I have colored in my oil pastels. I did use a few of my oil pastel techniques. I used some stippling, some scraffito. I did a white into one color blend. I did some color mixing. And here I did, actually I just layered some colors. I invented my own way. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give a little pathway for our turtle to go swimming in. So we're gonna come up to some side in over here and we're gonna draw some kind of a waved line and we're gonna do the other side as well. So we're gonna make kind of like a, we're, just, we're breaking up our background a little bit. So this turtle is gonna be swimming through this channel of water. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna to pretend to keep drawing that line. I'm gonna fly over my turtle and I'm gonna finish it over here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fly over my turtle, finish it over here. You notice I made my line a little bit waved. So now what I've done is I've broken up my whole background and I've made a place for my turtle to flow. So when we start to think about the way that things flow in an art piece, we're thinking about the comp composition. So I've kind of changed my composition. Now, if you've already drawn something back here, that is okay, or if you wanna go in a different way, you can. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and color in our background in any way that we want, okay? I want you just to have fun with it. Okay, I don't want you to use any black in it. I want you just to use every other color. We're gonna use black at the very, very end, okay? So no black, use all of your colors, okay? So go ahead and take on your backgrounds now. So once we've colored in our entire turtle and in our entire background, now we're ready to do something with an outline. So uh, you can choose to do this or not do it. What it does is it creates a lot of contrast. Right now you can see that my turtle is blended in a little bit to my background. It's not quite as easy to see. It's got a little bit of camouflage, but I want it to have contrast and contrast is when something pops out. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like when you take in a, a, a black line. You could do it thin or thick. I like to make mine a little bit thick but it's up to you. But I'm gonna go on all of those lines I originally drew, and I'm gonna just take my black over them. And you're gonna to start to see that it gets easier and easier to see my turtle. So you'll see how my turtle is popping, my turtle shell. 
So you'll see how my turtle shell is popping out. It has contrast, but you can see my turtle legs are a little bit hidden in my background. They have camouflage. So I want my legs to pop out as well. So I'm gonna take and continue to do my black outline around them. And this is going to create contrast. So I'm gonna go all the way around my turtle edge. I'm also gonna take and put some into my turtle eyes. And that will allow my turtle eyes to pop out as well. They will also have some contrast. See what I mean? So I'm gonna keep going. So you can see now it's very easy to see my turtle. My turtle has contrast with its background and I don't need to do anything in the background. I'm all finished. Now the last thing I would do is I would take and I would tap this off and then I would also go and look at my oil pastel box. Oh my goodness, mine is a mess right now. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean off all of the colors and I'm gonna make sure that this box is nice before I put it away. So this is my last job is to clean up all of my oil pastels. Happy creating everyone. Thank you.